There we go. Okay, so let us jump right back in. So if you guys don't remember, we were in this sort of sex dungeon underneath the shops. So uh, let us continue into the area. I love the lighting in this room. <laughs> What's that word, Shannon? What's that word, Shay? I don't know. Oh, okay, so we can go over here. Cross channel? I don't know what that is. Run, motherfucker. Whoa. Shit. Okay. Oh. Oh, put that gun away, please. Hmm. That's impossible. <laughs> I, I don't want to say that's impossible, but like that's a five foot gap right there. I feel like that should be. Uh, yeah, well, we should definitely do a quick recap. That makes sense, Nikki. So we are a Blade Runner. We're not Harrison Ford, a.k.a. Deckard. We are a different Blade Runner and we are hunting down some skin jobs, some rogue androids. And uh, let's see, I killed a homeless person. We found some clues, retired, <laughs> retired a homeless person and a skin job. And now we're going after another one. We went to, whoa. We went to the, um, there was like a, like a shop area that we unlocked. And there was this one guy who was like kind of threatening. And we went into, I think he like disappeared or something. He like flash banged us. We ran into his shop and he's got this secret sex dungeon underneath here. And uh, yeah, we're doing that. Yes, there was a lot of feeding of the dog and there will be more feeding of the dog. Is there anything else that I've missed? I'm trying to summarize that well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is impossible. That's impossible. All right, so we need to figure out a way across. Looks like there's a way this way. That's impossible. I love how tired he sounds. He's like, oh, that's impossible. That's impossible. I almost wondered if like we could shoot something up here. Oh, it's not going to let me shoot. I was like, maybe if I can break one of these pipes. Oh, that's fuck. impossible. I need a metal pole. <laughs> um, do I have any? How do I look at my items here? Got a lot of clues. It's crazy how like kind of deep this system is. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how we look. How we look at the inventory. Oh, I think I click on him, right? That's how. Oh, whoops. Shit. China. Oh, I didn't realize I have like a money counter. Cool. Ah. Uh. Okay, so what we kind of need to do is find a new way over there. Ooh, there's a ladder. I didn't notice this. Here we go. Going up the ladder. Cheers to ladders. I am not about to have all my hard work obliterated just because you stumbled into my shop, detective. Whoa. Westerners need guns and hardware. All I need is... Will. Freeze, Yoshi! Whoa. Ezo. Whatever. Been keeping yourself busy? I'll be out of lockup within the hour. Your little skin job friend's gonna take up a collection to bail you out, or you got it saved up? Ooh. Maybe I got friends in high places. Yeah, and if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. What are you doing here, Slim? I was gonna ask you the same thing. I've been tracking this boy for a week. He thinks he's pretty clever. He's a material witness in a case I'm working. In fact, your best buddy's a replicant, isn't he? The big guy with the dreadlocks. What's his name again? Hallucinate often. That's okay. You'll be giving it up to me soon enough. I can handle it from here, Slim. Why don't you go buy yourself a lollipop? Something else to suck on. Very clever. But I wasn't trying to be. Dude, he just, like, went with her. That was it? <laughs> oh my god. McCoy, LPD. 
Nobody gives a fuck. Okay, so we're back. Just kind of like at the beginning here. This is where we buy bullets. So if we go... Okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to like triangulate with my fucking powerful brain. So I think if we go... There might be like a secret entrance down there through the bullet place or something. You know what I mean? Because we crawled up through there, but we want to get over here. You want to make it as a Blade Runner? You ought to do your own investigations. Is there any way to... Jesus. Jesus. Agreed. Uh, I was hoping there'd be like a little secret pathway here. What do you guys think? Where should we go next? Yes! Shay, thank you very much for the $4.20 donation. I fucking love you. Glad to have you back tonight. All right, let's go look over here. Run! Okay, oh, maybe it's over here. We gotta talk to, uh... Thanks for your time. Oh, I guess not. I really want that chicken. I'm hungry. <laughs> Happy St. Pat's Day, everybody. Um, let's see. All right, we're kind of over here. Hmm. What do you guys think we should do? Okay, so let's go back into the pawn shop. And I think that's how we got into the sex dungeon. I want that electric guitar. Sounds awesome. Okay. Can we get in here? What is this? This looks like where we need to go. Nothing else there. <laughs> Except for these grenades and a machine gun. Jesus Christ. Nothing phases this hard-boiled detective. Nothing else there. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, what a slow walker. Come on, come on. Get going. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we're back at purple and green pipes. We can go up through that hole there. Oop. What's this? Okay. Puzzle being done. Puzzling is happening. I am puzzling. Let's go back and see if that changed anything. I don't think it did, but just to be super sure. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy takes forever. Can I turn this one? No. Just some boring ass automatic weapons. Okay. Let's see if anything changed over here then. Dun to do. This game is fucking cool. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. <laughs> I am puzzling. Puzzling is happening. I'm being good at puzzles. Going back to the impossible jump for, for you, my son. Ryan's shelf with the LAD. Okay. Anything different? That's impossible. <laughs> it's so dramatic. Um, ooh. Hmm. Can I shoot that? Pop that motherfucker. God damn it. So you won't shoot at the pole, but you'll fucking execute a homeless person? Jesus Christ. Hmm. hmm. Do I have an inventory? Is there like a... How do I do that? These are our suspects, right? Okay. Oh, these are the suspects. Objects. Hmm. Hmm. Got different types of bullets. Whoa. Oh, I see. We got these, like, nice bullets. Hmm. Let's use the nice bullets for now. I mean, I'm trying not to kill any more homeless people. What do you guys... How the fuck are we going to get that? I like feel like we need a rock or something. That's impossible. <laughs> hmm. 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 
Okay. So these pipes have been. I love the hum. It is nice that it gives you a hum for things that are potential things. Go back to the last room. There was another knob. By the the room with the pressure cooker that we turned off? Is that what you're talking about, Ryan? Or do you want me to go back to the uh, the room with the the shit? Yes, when the mouse turns green, that means what I can interact, except when I'm ho hovering it over uh, the Blade Runner. That brings us to this menu. So it doesn't. It doesn't. It seems like so. Sometimes, like I noticed, people last stream were like, "Oh, there's something you missed." But what it was is it just crossed the character and it looked green for a second okay cool <sighs> I wonder if there's I wonder if there's something up here that's different now I feel like we should play Five Nights at Freddy's in this room I love that I want this teacup Anything behind the bookcase? Let's go look. Yeah, that would be kind of good horror movie type shit. Which is the last room? What, oh, fuck. When you guys say last room or go back one, if you can tell me like, an in, go back to the room with the machine guns or go back to the room where you shut off the pipe or something like that, that's helpful just because of the lay in the chat. It isn't very long, but since I'm kind of running through this quickly. Um, with the green door. Okay. Was there a green door in the pawn shop? I don't know where there was a green door, Bucky. I'm sorry. I'm bad. Underground. Okay. We going. Is that what you meant by a green door? There was a knob to turn off. Hmm. Okay, so what's... Hmm. What's good is oh wait i bet we have to go up because see how this has a little snaky ass hr giger penis snake crawling up i think that's maybe a hint and it won't let me turn it back on um and i can't click on this one by the way if anybody was worried about this i think we should follow the penis snake what do you guys think i think in life you generally want to follow the penis snake to find the vulva monster Okay, let's go this way. Maybe there's something this way that we changed. Okay. Oh, we're at Runsitters. Oh, I wonder if it has something to do with Runsitters. See how there's like this steam coming up? I wonder if that's like a hint. Oh, remember how there was the fire hydrant? Always follow the penis. Why is this interesting? I think it's just because it was interesting before. I've gotten all I can from that. Let's go inside. Locked. Oh shit. Locked. Uh, I was hoping that cuz like see how this steam's coming up? Doesn't that seem like that's the sewer like radiating? Like this is where we should be. Oh fuck, and it's not letting me go any further. God, I really okay. thought I was on to something. Can I shoot this motherfucker? Uh. Always follow the penis snake. <laughs> hey, if you guys want me to, if, if you guys, if someone will buy the shirt, I will make it. <laughs> That's how this works. I will put the fucking penis snake on a shirt. Yeah, what's the inventory button? Is there a help? Hmm. <sighs> See, there isn't, I don't see an, uh, a, um, uh, current line of dialogue. Oh, there's an online help, like a little, uh, cheat sheet. That's funny. 
there's a clue database. I just, I'm gonna, okay, so F6 real quick, let's just see. Oh, not clues for the game, that's fine. I thought they were like, you know, uh, clues like, you know, if you get stuck. Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? Okay, uh, yeah. What's right behind? This is the bullet shop. Bob surplus. Go in. And when we went in, see, there's little. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this is a Zelda game, and I should un, I should build pressure up or something. I don't understand the puzzle yet. This guy doesn't want to talk to me. Nothing to do in here, really. I don't think. Hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, we can go look at other areas to see if maybe, maybe we need to talk to the guy in the police situation. You, one you know what I mean? Bitch. Always follow the penis snake. I don't know who the fuck you are, but I love you. <laughs> I feel like following the penis snake is, has taken me very far. You guys can barely see the illuminated penis snake behind me. Um... Yeah. Massive amount of information, a case suspect, and a variety of other options. So there might be a hint. Excuse me. Oh, that guy is so disaffected. Goth. I love it. Um, there might be something else we could discern by following this, but I kind of feel like let's... Unless anybody has any better ideas, I kind of want to go to the police station and see if we can interview that guy. Or talk to the dragonfly bitch? You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Hmm. Okay, so we got to progress the plot a little bit. Hmm. You know anything about insects? I regret that I do not know them. Save that I feed them to my snakes. You do what? Artificial ones, of course. The safeguards in the design of my snakes would not allow them to swallow a real insect. I assume that this insect is already extinct. <laughs> they all died after the war, yes. So the fakes must be pretty expensive. If bought in bulk, the price is acceptable. They do not need to eat them, of course, but the added realism is worth every penny. Have you ever seen such craftsmanship? Right now, I'm more interested in the insect. This is interesting. Perhaps you should ask the Peruvian woman next door. She's an expert on such things, and will cut a wonderful deal to friends. Did we not talk to this guy last time? Okay. Let's keep moving. Let's get out of here if we can. But please, guys, like, I know some people don't like backseating. If you guys see anything, help me out. Like, if anything strikes your mind, we will use our combined brain power because God knows my brain on its own is not enough. Poking around Hawker's circle had been a waste of time. I had nothing to connect this Ezo character to the Eisendollar murder. But if the replicants had done in one Tyrell scientist, maybe they'd go after another. And the subcontractors down on DNA Row didn't have Tyrell security to protect them. Okay. So the fact that he had a little monologue there makes me think that was all we were supposed to do. So maybe we should go back to Tyrell then. Because he said Tyrell in the monologue. Does that sound right? Um, now I'm thinking that, yeah. One thing that's a little frustrating about this game is like the way you progress sometimes has to be like, just go <laughs> and then you, you, you know. Like to progress the game, you have to be on your rooftop, just in the right place at the right time, sort of. <laughs> but we were up there, isn't it? But we were able to change the the pipe. We were able to turn the steam there. That's got to be a puzzle, you know right? If anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendollar's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. Okay. Back in the purple death dungeon. Oh. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. The kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. 
This one was for last year's infamous Lolita model, a big hit with the all-important dirty old man market. The all-important dirty old man market. That would be me. Thank you for shouting me out, game from 1997. Um... I can't believe we missed that before. I wonder if that's new, actually. And did that add anything? Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and inset mm. dates? Interesting. I wonder if... If the replicants are trying to make more replicants? Is that the plot? Let's see. I'm just poking around here while we're here. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. From Kingston? Why did we miss this the first time? I guess we had to have come back here later. Because there was dogs here before, right? Still a dead guy. Disgusting. <laughs> That's mean to say to him, even though he's dead. Okay, so Kingston, let's look here. Clue types, objects, Kingston, kitchen box. Kingston box. kitchens, where have I heard that before? Yeah, where have you heard that before? That would be very helpful. Kingston kitchens, Ugh. where have I heard that before? And then the Tyrell sales it pamphlet. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. Okay, so hype that ends up littering we're sort of making trash. progress, maybe? Question mark? Fucking question mark? Help, guys. <laughs> help, daddy. <laughs> daddy needs help. Daddy's pathetic brain cannot process where we're supposed to go. Okay, what do we have here? Coy's apartment. Police station. DNA row? Chinatown, Runciter's, Animoid Row. Okay, so we gotta go find wherever Kingston is. I think that's the trick to this. Oh wait, this is Animoid Row. This is where we just came from. Because they got animals here. Um, wait, I think, could the Kingston market, could that be the Jamaican lady, right? Kingston? Hmm. Let us see. Let us see. Keep going. Kingston! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar. Oh, Eisendollar, yeah! Let me tell you, that man can't eat! Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. Uh, okay. So what do we do now? Thanks for your time. Oof. Why do we fucking... Uh, what? Okay. What? <laughs> okay, so we figured out where the thing was. Whoa. Oh, that was a kind of cool little cutscene that can just happen. Okay, let's, uh... Alright. Uh, talk to Dragonfly Lady? Maybe that's advanced the plot? Oh shit, I didn't mean to go this way. We can't get back in here. Let's go back. Talk to the dragonfly lady. If that doesn't work... You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry? Like what I showed you before? No, senor. Okay. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come... Okay, fuck you. You motherfuck. Let's keep going. I'm sad we found a clue, followed it to the source. I deduced the source. And <laughs> feels like a dead end. 
<laughs> I don't know. Okay. So we're on Animoid Row. There's run sitters. I like that you can connect here. Let's go to Chinatown. What the fuck? I mean, I feel like we gotta just keep moving around because I don't think on Animoid Row there's a whole lot to get done. Yeah, love the music in this area. So good. What happened to our guy? Wasn't there a chef back here? Maybe this area has progressed now. Nobody's clean shit. Maybe we sh scared off the guy before, remember? I don't remember exactly what happened. No homeless man, though. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm reaching here. I love these dynamic shots. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Okay. Yuck. <laughs> it's just while we're here, like, I just want to cross it. My, what's the phrase? Cross the T's and dot my I's so we can forget about Chinatown and know that that's not where the puzzle locked. Still locked. Can't use a a Tyrell pamphlet to open it. Okay, we're we're moving forward. I will not be fucking dominated by this game. Daddy always dominates. The game will submit to me, not the other way around. Hmm. Wish we could get up there. Excuse me, pal. Nothing. Okay. I think we, unless, Chinatown's, not, nothing is happening in Chinatown. I think we could say that. So Chinatown's a bust. What do we have over here? DNA row. Let's go check that out. What the fuck? What's DNA row, actually? Is this a new area and I didn't even realize? Yeah, I think it is. Holy shit, I'm stupid. We had to, oh. Because they were looking up the DNA, we can just access this new area? This is new, right? Hey, by the way, let's just take a second to appreciate how beautiful this game is. Like, look at the coloring in this game. This, like... Oh, it's so good. What the fuck is this? Oh, is this the guy from the... with the eyes from... What you want? I'm busy. Oh my god, it's the guy from uh, the movie. You guys remember what's his name? Like Chiff or something like that? Excuse me. Deliveries to rare. LPD, I got a couple of questions. Hmm. Talk, talk, talk. Always talk. You wait. You know, take up time. Busy, busy. Marcus Eisendaller is dead. Uh, okay, we, we, we talk. <laughs> quick, quick, talk. What you want? You were close to Eisendaller? Eisendaller? <laughs> no, no, no time for him. No go to lab. Eisendaller test off world gravity to work important organs. Visual center, you see? Hey, Justine, Marcus yes. Chew work hard all night, all day, no stop, no break. No Chew, work. that's his name. Did you hear me? Of course I hear you. You think I'm deaf? <laughs> Your time more important, man. Huh? Eisendaller dead. Mirachi may be dead. You out chasing skirts. <laughs> Mirachi? You eat supper with Mirachi every night, no fail. Sometimes Chinese, sometimes Indian, sometimes home cook. Sometimes we go up and eat with twins. Mirachi didn't show. Did you call him? Hey, call. I knock. Ten minutes ago, door locked. No answer. Where you come from, huh? What? Nothing, nothing. Hmm. Yes. The famous line, uh, Justine, if only you could see what I've seen with your eyes. Tell me this. Hey, wait, LPT, you there for something, huh? LPT? I'm very busy. I won't wait for nothing. <laughs> These Asian accents, they're good. Uh. Tell me this. Hey, wait, LPT, you there for something, huh? LPT? I love, I love, I'm very I love. Busy. I just won't wait for nothing. Oh. It's a little, little on the nose for 2021, but that's okay. Scum night, not, uh, not politically correct night. Okay, uh, so we're moving forward. Did he tell us anything? 
Is there someplace else we can go in this area, or is that it? What about, like, oh, yeah, there is an area over here. Go this way. What do we have over here? Dermo design. Ooh, there's a little secret door. Why don't we go in the front door, though? I like the back door myself, but we'll start with the front door. What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Whoa. Please, help me. It is going to blow. What do I do? What's going to blow? How do I go over there? I want to shoot him. Okay, why don't we go outside and go up here? Please? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe we just died. Oh, I thought like, I thought at first like he died, but we died. <laughs> Okay. Well, yep, he warned me. It, yeah. Okay. So let's turn this again. And up the ladder. <laughs> I guess we should save before we do that next time. But we kind of know what to do from here. This should be pretty quick I to get back. About to have all my just because West. Let's just skip ahead here. I can't believe I just died. This is so silly. Okay, so that happened. What do we need to do to progress the plot? I guess we go to ch just go to Tyrell, skip Chinatown, then go to DNA Row. I guess that's what we do. I was fresh out of hope. I, I like that when you. So if I what I was doing there is hitting Enter to skip the uh, stuff, but what I was thinking is that it's nice that it doesn't skip the whole cutscene; it just skips one sentence. Hey, hey, how's it going, David? Mr. Cyberpunk himself, how's it going? Okay. So, let us... Let's go... I can't believe I died. Pick up the Tyrell pamphlet. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. The kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for last year's infamous Lolita model, a big hit with the. Someone had tried to and fail Tyrell, but what would the? Yeah, it's uh, definitely a blast, and it's a hidden gem. I love this game. It is very good. The takeout box. There we go. So that's the takeout box. I do feel like we probably need to talk to the lady from Kingston to progress the plot. But why don't we just get moving forward? That's probably it, honestly, dude. That is one seriously <laughs> perverted bitch. Neil! My brother, thank you very much for that amazing $6.66 tip. I appreciate all of you guys who've been donating tonight. Happy St. Patrick's Day. You guys are great. Thank you for supporting me in the channel. Let's talk to Chu about the eyeballs, just in case that progresses the plot at all. Ah! What you want? <laughs> I'm busy. Excuse me. LP. Mar you were. I said. I said. Chu. Did you? I said. More Chu. I'm more. Wait. What? Never. <laughs> Tell me this. Hey. Wait. LPT. You there for something, huh? LPT. <laughs> I'm very busy. I just won't wait for nothing. So yeah, David. This is uh, such a cool game from. 1997 and I love Blade Runner more than anything so it's actually I don't know I mean there hasn't been any real Blade Runner games like and this one just feels so authentic to the game world and actually the graphics are very good for um uh let's do a new slot and we'll call this one um let's not die this 
time. There we go. Okay, so, uh, hey, why don't we go up here? Why don't we go up in the back door? See, I told you I was a back door man. But, uh, you know. Because I don't know what to do once we're in there. And it's going to blow. Half the workspace was tidy, the other half a total disaster mm. area. The tenants were clearly the oddest of odd couples. Hello, Luther. Hello, Lance. You have no new messages and one save voice only message. Would you like to hear the saved message again? Absolutely. Hello, it's JF Sebastian. Oh my god, it's JF Sebastian. Right. I tried to talk to Dr. Terrell about uh, about your reinstatement, reemployment, but I haven't been able to get through to him yet. He's kind of angry and you know what a cool customer he is. I don't know what happened between you guys, but I'm still trying. If, if, if you want to get together, I'm still at the Bradbury. I'll be here all night. Oh, Message Bradbury. saved automatically. To delete, please state your deletion security number. Not right now. Thanks. The pleasure's all ours at Sino Bell. I feel like the building should have already blown by now. The vid phone was one of those old Zenith jobs, the last electronic tech that was still produced on this continent, in Mexico to be exact. No wonder the sucker was on the blink. I'm glad we went in the back door first. So JF Sebastian from the movie was the guy who made like the animatronic dolls that was uh, harboring Pris. Like that, creepy shit like that. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's go downstairs. What do I do when I go downstairs and the guy's trying to blow the building up? What's the move? What do you guys think I should do? I think I should kill him. Just like he's a homeless man, you know? Let's take him out. Fuck him. What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Locked. No way through here. No, no, no. I want to... I want to, um... Can't edit? It can't click on his body at all? <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, really? That's awesome. James Hong. Huh. Hmm. All right, guys. So there's clearly... Something we're supposed to do in here. So let's just, let's figure this out first. What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help Think that? me. It is going to blow. <laughs> oh man I get it now okay so that's the dynamite I discovered the dynamite you guys <laughs> follow the penis snake found the dynamite let's put the gun away What's going on? and dismantle help me sir please help me it is going to blow wait maybe I can disarm it no there is no time! And he said, if you touch it? I was thinking about shooting the chain. I mean, since we have the save right outside the building, it's like, why don't we just keep brute forcing this? What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. I think what we have to do is just run out of here. Not letting me shoot that. What else can I shoot in here? It, I don't think we can do anything in here. What about if I run? Just, yeah, I think out of the way. Maybe. Yeah, okay, that's all you're supposed to do, is just not die. <laughs> it 
It was something you didn't see too often, a precise <laughs> shaped explosion fashioned for minimum collateral damage. The son of a bitch was a pro, someone with real munitions expertise. And that mm. expertise could only come with extensive, on-the-job, off-world training. Off-world training, so he's saying it's an android. He's saying it's a skin job, fuck. Which is odd. Maybe a little Lita model. Locked. No way through here. Hmm. Oh, so that's it. I, I think that's the whole plot point, and then we just go up here and uh and learn about JF Sebastian. Which is pretty cool, because they mentioned, like, I'll be at the Bradbury till whenever, so I bet that'll unlock a location. The vid phone was one of those old Zenith jobs. In the Half the workspace was the... T Listen to JF one more time. Hello, Luther. Hello, Len. You have a Absolutely. Hello, it's JF Sebastian. I hope you guys really good right. impression of that actor. I tried to talk to Dr. Terrell about, uh, about your reinstatement. In the movie, J.F. Sebastian has a disease where he ages really fast. So he's only like in his 20s, but he looks like he's in his 60s. I don't know what happened between you guys, but I'm still trying. Okay, fuck that. Okay, let's make the clown move. Creepy, creepy. You would like to think that he could go down this little stairway here. Okay, please stop. But I don't think so. Okay, I think that's it, right, guys? You don't see anything else here? I think that we're think we're making progress, making fucking progress. Love me some progress, progress, man. All right, what do you guys? Hopefully, there will be a new location on the overworld. Accelerated decrepitude. Yeah, is that what it was called in the movie? Okay, do we have a new area to go to? Oh shit, maybe I should have listened to him. Yo ho ho, Jackie Daggers, how's it going? So we just, uh, let me just catch up real quick. We, uh, how do I get out of this? Oh, I guess I don't. Where are we, DNA row? Let's go back here. So, I died a lot. <laughs> this guy had a bomb go off in here. Oh, we might even see Rick Deckard? Holy shit, that's awesome, we're evidence. So yeah, bomb went off in here. We died in it like 18 times. Locked. No way through here. So, that happened. And then there was this thing with J.F. Sebastian. Let's go back up here and listen to it one more time. Yeah. I've gotten all I can from that. Oh, it's not going to let me. Let's listen to the clue then. Clue, audio recordings. Oof. Hmm. What's the audio recording? Howie Lee's. Bryant once got food poisoning there, so he shut it down for a couple of months. I don't know. Yeah. So. Oh, I haven't had an acai bowl in fucking forever. I'm such a shitty hipster. I love an, an acai bowl. And since 2017, I was eating a lot of acai bowls because places that sold acai bowls were great places to sell kombucha to and I was the salesperson for a kombucha company hmm all right where are we going now we got to figure out where the so we went to Tyrell went to DNA row maybe we talk to Chu about um about what happened so this is Chu from the movie the guy who makes the eyeballs for the replicants good time now come back later <laughs> oh yeah, three natives. Listen to me. 
Busy, busy. You not delivery man. You go away. <laughs> Distraction all day long. Never stop. Loud noises on the street. Beep, beep, bong, 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 bong. Always make me drop eyes. That'd be Dermo design burning to the ground. Oh? What? What of Marazzi? He didn't make it. You leave now, okay? Very busy. Must work. Must work. Can I shoot this motherfucker? No. What's Sebastian been up to lately? Sebastian? Oh. <laughs> he do what always do, nervous system. Very important to Dr. Terrell. Where do I find him? He had old building down the alley. Uh, Bradbury Hotel, I think. Yeah. You walk down the alley, you find it. Okay. You mentioned twins. Yes, yes. Luther and Lance. Siamese twins. Live about Miraji. They're genetic designers? Well, <laughs> till last month. Got the boot. Shit can. From who? <laughs> Shit can. Big boss, who else? Hey, and if I didn't tell up, you go ask them. I waste no more time. You think I, I nose around everybody's business, huh? So if I pull a gun, he doesn't even give a fuck. Miraji's some kind of DNA designer? Yeah, subcontractor like me. <laughs> he funny though, like old movies. Miraji master chef. Twins go crazy when he cooks. <laughs> I don't know what Sorry to bother you. Okay, so we're done talking to him. He said down the alleyway. Oh, so we just go this way. Oh, nice, the Bradbury. Oh my God, we're gonna get to meet JF Sebastian. Oh yeah. Do you guys member? I member. Oh, it's just like the movie. Oh God, I will fucking cry if we get to see Pris. Yes, they're very nice people at Scum VM. Wow, this is crazy. Welcome home, Jeff. Oh, it's the little dolls. Little it was weird. some kind of freakish toy. Half Fre mechanical, half organic. Rep freakish. technology for sure. But no one was going to give me any retirement bonus for it. <laughs> it was some kind of freakish toy. <laughs> half mechanical, rep technology for sure. But no one was going to give me any retirement bonus for it. We got some raver candy here. We're gonna go this way, this way, or this way. Go to the right first. This jay up. Nope, that's another one of those fucking things. It wasn't a rep and it wasn't human, and it still gave me the willies. Oh, I love how these guys just walking around in here. I couldn't tell who was winning, and I didn't much care. Chess was a little slow for me. That's the game being played by J.F. Sebastian and Tyrell. I didn't have time to stop for synthetic eggs. I remember tasting a real one back when I was a kid. It was like liquid sunshine. Damn tasty. I love eggs, too. I think there was something else I missed over here. Something looked green in this area. Mm, maybe not. Let's go this way. Jesus Christ, this is fucking horrific. Resuming interrupted print job. Ooh, print job. This game really is amazing, Jackie. Okay, so we put the power on. I mean, we can click on anything. DNA research, incept dates, a lot of jargon, but I'd bet my spinner it was valuable to somebody. Hmm. There's this whole thing about incept dates and DNA going on. I don't know what that means. I wonder if JF Sebastian's not here right now. Oh, I forgot about that fucking creepy monkey. It's like an IKEA lamp fixture. It's cool that they included some Scandinavian design. Jesus, just go away, little freaky doll. Stop following me around. Okay, wait. That was to the right. Now we're to the left. What's in here? 
Hey, how's it going, Gaetano? We are... Okay, so can anybody summarize what's happened so far? Um, we've left the sex dungeon and we... Let's see. We found another building where a bomb went off. I died like 18 times trying to figure out the puzzle. But there was an audio recording in the building mentioning JF Sebastian. And after we pressed um, Shu, who's the guy who makes the eyeballs for the replicants, um, we were able to find the location of where JF Sebastian is staying. JF Sebastian's the guy who makes the nervous systems for replicants. He's from the movie. Chu's from the movie, too. But JF Sebastian um, is a freak show. Look at all these weird little animatronics he makes. Whoa. Okay, I don't remember the movie that... It's been a while since I've seen the movie. Is this like after Deckard got into the fight with... What's his name? Wait, wait. With, um... Oh, there's a ladder. Before or after? I don't know. A lot of water. This is after... Uh, Roy Batty got killed, maybe? Whoa, Jesus Christ. This game is so fucking atmospheric for being a 2 2D game. Holy shit. Oh, something up here. What was that? Oh, it lets me climb up. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Is this the fight between... Oh my god, wait. Oh, <laughs> did we just get stomped by the dreadlocks guy? Enough. Oh, you think he found us, man? One of the design subcons must have talked. Unstable personalities, to say the least. Told you we should have blown up the old block. It would have created problems down the line. We got problem now, man. This one? He's not a problem. He's... An opportunity. You're weak, my friend. I expected so much more from you. I'm taking our brother not hearing too good. Oh, he hears us. Isn't that right, McCoy? You ready to give up fruitless nightmare man? Come back to family? He doesn't have a choice. He never did. Oh, shit. We got a little cinematic here. Let me kill him, man. No. <laughs> we got no time to be patient. The girl, she's sick. She not gonna get no better. That's where you're wrong, Sadiq. She will live. Maybe. But this one, he got it coming bad. Believe me, he's the least of our problems. You're talking crazy. The hunter be dangerous. A fool sees not the same tree a wise man sees. I'm no fool, man. You must have a little faith, my friend. Without contraries, there's no progression. How can you trust any of their kind? We have been manipulated by them, correct? Now they're going to see exactly what lies on the other side of the horizon. Whoa. Whoa. The weird bug. What are we looking at? Where are we? Is this a dream? Oh, it's the hot goth bay. Yes, follow goth bay. Use the 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 penis snake on the goth bay. How long oh, I've been here, Lucy. How do you know my name? I saw your things at Runciter's. Did you feel bad when they killed those animals? They were so pretty and sweet. I hoped Father wouldn't do it. But Mr. Runciter deserved retribution. That's what Father said. Why? Because he treated me bad, like I belonged to him. I'm sorry. Are you really the hunter, like Father says? It's my job. Why? What do you have against us? Nothing. It's just the law. Would you hurt me? I promise you I won't. <laughs> yes. 
father will be back soon. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I promise Goth Bay I wouldn't I would never hurt Goth Bay. Oh, we can move around. Let's move over here. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna let me do anything. I gotta figure out how to set myself free. Go over to the doll. Oh, beer bottles. Can we use the beer bottles? A 4K binder. What is that, Gaetano? Hmm. Oh, that wasn't what I was trying to do. All right. Uh... What do I do? Where's he going? Yep, I'm hopping, David. Where's he going? Looking for something to click on. But like I can click on this, but what happens? Hmm. It'd be great to be able to use this gun, but I don't think we have it. We're not gonna shave Gaetano's head, he'd look too much like me then. Yeah. Okay, so what do I fucking do? It's clearly you're supposed to do something in the chair here. I would use the, the break a Budweiser bottle that I guess the androids have been drinking. They've been drinking. S spring break. Let's get fucked up. This is very odd. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to, how I'm supposed to do anything right now, because there's no, like the things that are green, it doesn't let me do anything with. Let's see, whatever this is, I can't even get to it. I like how it goes faster though. Go! Faster, McCoy, faster! What we just did, but somehow by moving into that corner, that allowed us to get out of the chair. Okay, so now we can do the things. It felt and smelled like real cheese. Dairy products were choice contraband, scarce and mucho expensive. Selling them was a class A felony. Dairy products are a class A felony? Fucking amazing. Let's go get this doll. What is this pizza then? Class A felony pizza. What is that? The nice thing is the, the, you know, like it keeps track of all your clues for you. We've got a bong here or something and some cigarettes. They got their priorities straight. Like who needs a bed if you've got a bong and cigarettes? I just want to double check everything here. Okay, let's go through the store. Uh, never mind. Let's go back. <laughs> go this way. Let's. You let him in my room. They had a warrant, Mister. What was I supposed? Wait, wait, wait. Let. I didn't let... know who was working this side of the pool, but whoever it was, they'd been pretty thorough going through the joint. I doubted if there was anything I could find that hadn't already been snagged and bagged. Let's save the game. Probably gone. 
die soon. There we go. Okay. Oh, found something. Nothing. Nothing. Huh. I guess that's what we did, Gaetano. I guess we melted the bonds over here. Go this way. Oh! Oh, shit! That's where we are. We're on the other side of that room. Cool. So now we can get in there. Neat. But how are cops already back there? Wow. It's all coming together, isn't it? Hmm. Where are we? What hotel? Hmm. Ah. The Yukon Hotel. Let's see what we got over here. I'm a little lost as to what we're supposed to be doing, but we're making progress, so. The car looked a lot like the one I'd been tracking. The driver had been smart enough to pull the license plate, but the vehicle identification number was still there. If I ran it through the mainframe back at the station, I could ID the owner. So we can't get anything The wrapper this. was from a vendor I knew. Best lichen dogs in the fourth sector. That wasn't saying a whole lot, but with an arcade next door and a dozen nightclubs down the street, Mia and Murray's stand saw more action in a night than my spinster aunt saw all last century. <laughs> Jesus Christ, slutty spinster aunt. Did this take us... Oh, to DNA Row. Holy shit. So now we can go all the way back over here. Wow. This game is like w so connected that it's starting to feel like an open world game in the sense that like you have uh yeah. Like you can go from everywhere to everywhere. I think at some point we'll be able to like get all the way back to our hotel that would be my guess. I wanted to check the Bradbury again real quick before we go back to the police station and check that shit out. Yes? I'm looking for J.F. Sebastian. That's me. Oh, it's McCoy, J.F. LPD. You had a break-in? I... I don't think I called anyone. I was already here. I was chasing one of the perpetrators. Well, everything's all right now. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. You may think you can, but believe me, you can't. Better if I check it out. Wow. Well, if you insist. Oh my god, we get to actually see J.F. Sebastian from the I movie? I don't think they took anything. I don't really have anything here of any value. You work for Tyrell Corporation? Yes, sir. I'm one of the principal design engineers for Dr. Tyrell. He's a very nice man. You know, he even fronted me the money to buy this building. It's a landmark, you know. You really should see the front edifice. They put some amazing detail into it. You feeling all right? Oh, sure. I'm fine. You wouldn't be hiding anybody, would you? No, sir. There's nobody here but me and my friends. What friends? What? Oh. Even in general? <laughs> See? I make friends. He almost looks real. He's plenty real enough for me. And real good company, too. Look, I gotta so check sad. the premises again. Maybe they left something behind. Well, if you want to take a look, go on ahead. I can't stop you. But please be careful in my lab. You got it. We see any, will he say anything else? You know the design subcons down on the row, Miraji and Chu? I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. I don't go in for the parties and stuff, and I never go down to the row. You ever work with a Dr. Eisendeller? We're in different fields. I'm in basic biogenetic design, and he works on the practical application of off-world physics. He seems to be a very nice man. Who happens to be dead. Dead? He was murdered, probably by a replicant. But replicants aren't allowed on Terra. 
But they're here, nonetheless. And who do you think they'll start mm. looking for next? How well do you know Dr. Tyrell? Oh, I'm not sure anyone really knows him. But I can tell you this, he's a great man. And a brilliant genetic designer. Mm. Dr. Tyrell and I play chess every week. I've only beaten him once. You're in the middle of a game right now? Uh-huh. You play? I don't have the patience for chess. You play with Dr. Terrell, you learn something new every time. Such as? Every single move must be taken very seriously. Otherwise, you've lost before you've even begun. How different are the sixes from the other Nexus models? You... You're a Blade Runner, aren't you? Bingo. But you said you were here about the burglary. The guys who broke in might be replicants. What in the world would a replicant want from me? You worked on the Nexus 6 series, didn't you? Just a little bit. Would you say that the 6s are smarter than the old 4s and 5s? They're supposed to be. Stronger and more agile, too. So, maybe they want to learn more about themselves. Maybe they want to pick your brain about their brains. I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. All right, so that's all he's going to say. We're not going to leave. We're going to go see if there's anything else that we can find in here. Probably isn't anything, but for the fuck of it, you know. Anything changed. Mm, still the good eggs. I've gotten all I can from that. Okay. Yeah, there's probably nothing else here. <laughs> Fucking weird monkey. Hate that thing. We'll go back to the police station next, I think. That's it. That's all we can do up here. I just want to be thorough, guys. This game's a very thorough game, so it's it seems worth it to just make sure that we don't miss anything. Okay. It's really cool that you get to talk to JF Sebastian, but I don't think if we actually got anything particularly useful from him. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Feel bad that we imposed upon JF Sebastian. He's such a nice guy. He's about to get fucking murdered. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, seriously. How have your uh, Cyberpunk 2077 games been going, actually? I've, I've popped in a couple of times just to check them out, David. Um, have a good night, Bucky. I love you. All right, let's make, let's get moving. Is uh, Cyberpunk less glitchy now? I heard for the longest time it was, you know, I even got pulled from the store. PlayStation. Here we go. This really is like Cyberpunk 1997. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the police station. Roof, laboratory. And try to figure out what where he said we could get stuff done. Where's our guy? No, put the gun away. There's a guy here before, wasn't there? Oh, really? PC's pretty good, but I haven't been a huge... Uh, this you been busy, pal? Pal! Yeah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Okay. That's not where we're supposed to go. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Where are we supposed to go? This is the boss. 
Didn't he say we have to go to laboratory? Laboratory. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is definitely where we're supposed to go. Where's our guy? I could have sworn it said go to the laboratory, didn't it? There's no one here. Where the fuck? Um... I could have sworn it said go to laboratory, didn't it? Did I make that up? It's not letting me do anything in here. Weird. Alright, let's go talk to the boss while we're here, I guess. Are you playing um, Cyberpunk on your PC? Or are you using a, like a, is it a PS5? Talk to the boss, maybe? Wait, where is everybody? What's going on? Am I missing something here? Let's go to the basement while we're here. Yeah, I guess everybody quit. Like, everybody's gone. Let's talk to this guy. You look right at home in there, Izo. I've been in much tighter spots than this, McGoy. I'll bet. But this is only the beginning. Nice. This puppy over here was hand-built, too. You ready to supply me some answers? I wish I had something to say. I know your hands are dirty, Izo. Can we void camp this, this motherfucker? To better himself, no matter what the terms are. If that counts as dirty, so be it. The terms of your conviction won't be too clean. I'll be through with this place long before you, McCoy. Yeah, I'm sure you've been saving up for a rainy day, selling all those illegal weapons. One never knows when fate will conspire. You must be prepared. You're a real trooper, Izo. You look right at home in there, Izo. Just blast this motherfucker. You look right at home in there, Izo. We can we void Remember how we could void camp this guy? You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. <laughs> My migraine's acting up. Yeah, Gaetano's using some breast binders. You look right at home in there, Izo. Okay, I guess we can't void comp him, which is silly. We should I definitely think that guy's a fucking android. Um ground floor. Mainframe and shooting range. Okay, I guess this wasn't the move. I don't know what we're supposed to do next. This game has a little bit of this where it's like, okay, what area am I even supposed to go to now? Maybe we go to Tyrell? There's a lot of Tyrell talk. I love these transition screens. Oh, it's so good. You got an appointment this time? Nope. So why are you here? What do you mean by that? So, anyone else explode around here lately? I eat any more of that cafeteria food my stomach's liable to. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. You gonna throw me out? If need be. I'm a fucking cop. So, anyone else explode around here lately? I eat any more of that- I'm gonna have to ask- You gonna throw me out? If need be. That is bizarre. So we're not even welcome at Tyrell anymore. Okay. Maybe let's go to... What is this? Bradbury Building. Chinatown. Runsitter's Animals. Animoid Row. Hysteria Hall? Hysteria Hall? Cheers, guys. Oh my god. Cheers to Hysteria. 
Nightclub row. Okay, so we got new areas to go to. That's what it is. All right. Uh, I guess we'll start at Hysteria Hall. Yeah, Facebook's listing, Gaetano. It's the cyberpunk future. It was the pixel. He said Pat doesn't have a mink coat. She's got a good Republican cloth coat. You guys still battling it out? <laughs> That's what keeps our marriage alive and kicking. Extreme elephants, Bob yeah, what knows. Do you for? The works. Coming right up. You know anything about politics, right? Famous quotes, things like that? I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> right behind you, lady. You ever seen this girl around here? Maybe in the arcade? Oh, yes. I saw her come out of the arcade yesterday. No, it was the day before. Maybe you saw her both days. No, I'm positive. It was yesterday. You're positively wrong. It was two days ago. Sure as God made little green apples. You're getting hmm. Alzheimer's, sweetie. <laughs> okay, okay, just forget it. Whoa. This is shady. Look at these cyber goths. Oh my god. It's an arcade. What an what a thing that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, is that Goth Bay? I think that's Goth Bay over there. You're sick, Lucy. No, I'm not. Yes. You are. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. I always dreamed Terra would be so special and beautiful. That is Birds one seriously flowers, perverted bitch. And trees and blue water, like on the video. Yo. So different from everything on. Titty tighteners, whoever you are. I was. Thank you Why very you much. Why those animals? I didn't want them to, but Father, he was so angry. And Sadiq said Mr. Runcer deserved it for treating me that way. It's so funny. I'm worth less than those animals. I guess I should hate them, but I don't. So, all the animals were real? Mr. Runcer also used to buy some of the others. Artificial. He used to tell me that he was protected, that they came from somebody close to the source. Who else was there that night? Father and Uncle Zubin. I know, I want to play DDR with her so bad. Can you take me to your father? I don't think he'd like that. I don't know where he is, anyway. Is that the best we can strong arm her, just because we got a crush on her? Which I understand, because I do have a crush on her too. Come with me. I've got a test I want you to take. Oh, she's going to the House of Mirrors. Oh, well, no, she went off. Oh my god. Are we supposed to shoot her? Oh wait, wait, I gotta go. That is one seriously perverted bitch. Keep running, keep moving. Come on. Oh god. No, I didn't mean to do that. Come on. How am I supposed to catch up with her? Oh, I gotta cat head her off. Go this way. <laughs> I, I definitely blew through a lot of really good ammo. Come on. Oh my god, this is very that weird. Is one seriously perverted bitch. Thank you guys so much. More like replican. <laughs> Thank you for the amazing donation. I don't know how to catch Goth Bay. Ah, oh, she's definitely going. Oh, come on, come on. Go. Yeah, you figured it out. There you go, buddy. Come on. 
Thank you very much for your donation, whoever you are. Yeah, we got it. Can I swap bullets? How many of these do I have left? 11. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, let's go back to the unlimited supply. Where did she go? Ugh. I lost her. Ugh. Can we talk to these guys? You know where I could score some cheese? Like this stuff? Oi! Don't flesh <laughs> that around here! He's the police, sweetie! Besides, the kids today... That Just is one seriously perverted bitch. Replicant, thank you very much. Man. For your six dollars and sixty-six no, donation. No, don't ask if any trouble, right? I'm not working Bunko, I just want some information. That nutty board who runs Kingston Kitchen. She's always bragging about her special ingredient. Oh. That stew she makes. It always did taste a little yamey. And she charges an arm mm. and leg for it, too. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe I unloaded like 10 bullets into the wall. It's a killer, I kid you not. Only 35 thou. Yeah, red, orange, blue, puke, green, any color you want. Just give me 24 to hose the graffiti off. Just kidding. Ask for the man, Crazy Legs Larry, to Lou. <laughs> Admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. I didn't want to say it, Neil. Of course, you got to find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy Legs, Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me Crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. Okay. The Bishi's exceptional. Mechanical is Pacific Rim flawless, as usual. But they also saved some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. You see it? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it before. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. <laughs> Give it, take a couple letters. I'll have to think about it. But don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. Hmm. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. I wonder what this guy gotcha. figures into the plot. How about this girl? She look familiar? You kidding? She ain't old enough to drive. You've never seen her? She looks kind of familiar. Think real hard. Maybe you should try that arcade next door. She looks like the kind of girl you see there all the time. I'll do that. Hmm. I wonder if there was some way to actually catch her. Hey, keep your paws off that, Ray. Hmm. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, we can go upstairs. Try to follow me, or crazy legs. Locked. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Steal one of these cars? Are you kidding me? Locked. I think he did trick his wheelchair out with an expensive metal. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. That that does not suck. That is a sexy car. It can fucking fly. What a funny thing for him to say. Oh. Hey, Ray, how you doing? <laughs> Just fine, crazy. You've been thinking about the cat, haven't you? I don't blame you. She keeps me up at night, too. And I ain't ever even lip wrestled in the back seat. Which is definitely what's lip wrestled? For a study your caliber. Throw in a babe and maybe you got a deal. No sweat, I'll have one over in a jiffy. Not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. 
Are we kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. Okay. Pretty sure that means we need to go talk to the Kingston lady. So, earlier in the game I discovered the Kingston lady from a... Um, from a box of Chinese food left at the Tyrell place. But she's over on Animoid Row. She's the Jamaican lady. But we actually haven't gone and talked to her because I died after that and had to start over. So... I think the graphics in this game are so good for the era. Like, I love the graphics and the dynamic rain and everything. I mean, it, it seems like real... I, I'm sure it's like 2D, you know, basically like, uh, you know, like a, a Windows media file or whatever, but it doesn't... Oh, whoops. It doesn't matter. It still looks just so... Fuck, that wasn't what I wanted to do. It just still looks so good. Yeah. Here we go, babe. Mia and Murray tell me you're using cheese in your stew. Real cheese. Gimme buzzards. What they know? I could take a sample of that stew you're cooking back to the lab and have it tested. Why you pick on Mama Isabella? I never do you no harm. Don't pick on her. Where'd you get it? <laughs> My sister. She got connections. Where can I find her? She back in Jamaica, man. Far away from here. She send me cheese once, maybe twice a month. Ooh, funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Police next door, they just laugh. Say the guy not be so happy when he opened them cartons. <laughs> What's that have to do with the cheese? Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. So how could I tell police to bring back box? They find cheese, they shut me down. Agreed, Jackie. What do you look like? Shard, real shard. Bad clothes, colors way too bright. Funny bow tie. Maybe you look for this ugly little TV, huh? I'm thinking you not really care about the cheese. You're right, but I still think you ought to get yourself a different secret ingredient. You bet, man. That she's been nothing but trouble for Mama Isabella. Poor Mama Isabella. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendaller at the Tyrell building? Eisendaller? Oh, Eisendaller, yeah! Let me tell you, that man can't eat! This... we already heard this. No, but sir. not in this playthrough. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. Alright. So, little guy? I love these little cutscenes where you get to see the cars go by. Hmm. What do you guys think we should do next? Could the little guy be J.F. Sebastian's little guy? Remember? Oh, wrong way. Oh, let's talk to the dragonfly lady, see if it's been enough time for her to... Any luck finding more of that dragonfly jewelry? Oh, see, see. Yes! That's right. This you show me was part of a collection. Bought for a nightclub in Fourth Sector. You know the name of the nightclub owner? No, senor. Huh. But my friend, he says the man is not certain. Thanks for your help. Okay. So, we've got two leads. We've got this cheese thing and we've got the nightclub. So, let's see if we can go to the nightclub. Hmm. Let's go to nightclub row. See what we can do. Yes.
Live triple X girls. How do we get in there? Okay, we can go into this place. Or this place. Tally Lewis. Let's start there. Progress towards the live triple X girls. I love that cheese is a plot point too. Illegal dairy. I love, I love. Hey, it's the guy in the red shirt, right? That they got a fucking Roland TR-808 from 1983 as the drum beat of this. This is so awesome. Okay, let's talk to the guy in the red shirt, because he's clearly... Hey, man. You're that cat from Howie Leeds. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet, but Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinyan someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snappy, okay? I really appreciate your patience. You know the chef at Howie's? That big, flabby guy? Never seen him before. You were hanging around right when he took off. Pure coincidence. You are one hell of a suspicious cat, McCoy. Kick back, relax, watch my show. Take a little break from your boring existence. Oh, he's going. He's going. Where are you going, buddy? Can, can I follow you? Oh, is the show going to start? Oh. Cool. Neat. Hey. Everybody having a good time tonight? Woo! I'm having a great time. Yes. What does a marriage and a tornado have in common? First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. You it's, know what my first wife's nickname was? It's Gaetano. Twister. <laughs> the doctor calls up his patient. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is you only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, what? Be worse than that. The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> Guess what happens to a rep? Almost as funny as Gaetano. Really well. Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner unit. One of the LPD's finest. Oh. Ray McCoy. Let's give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. April nice 9th, job, baby. Eh? Detective. It doesn't quite work that way. Doesn't it? I think it's the third what week. I pretended to be a replicant. That just an excuse for your lousy act, Gordo? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got a little. That snake dancer that worked here, Zora, she was a rep. And her picture's gonna be on every front page tomorrow. Too bad oh she'll God. never read it. How are you sure someone's a rep, detective? There's a test. Test? What replicant's gonna sit still for a test? If I'm trying to question someone and he runs, that's a pretty good sign. Could be a pretty good sign that you need to bathe more often. <laughs> Is he gonna run? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk, Gaetano. Oh, we can't go back there? I love the music in this game. It's so good. Looks like there's almost... Nothing to click on. What is this? Oh, what is this? A phone? Damn. I don't get it. Damn. Okay. I think that's all we can do this. Do what you gotta do, McCoy. If you gotta shoot, that's cool. I don't wanna shoot you. 
Let's save the game. <laughs> uh, death is coming. Actually, let's go back here. Do what you gotta do, McCoy. Come on, McCoy. Why don't you make me famous? Get off it. You're no replicant. How do you know? I could be a martyr for the cause, baby. Where are you going? Every rep I've ever seen wants to live, not die. Now. What are you, an expert? I've been around. You may not be a rep, but you're a damn rep sympathizer for sure. Now we're going to take a little ride downtown. Yeah, and what? You'll put me on that point comp machine? My 15 minutes of fame, baby. It ain't as good as being gunned down in the street, but what the hell. Oh my god, we're gonna avoid comp him. Awesome. You're listening to me in your car? Why did we put him in the same cell as that? You keeping busy, pal? Show's over, baby! And there ain't gonna be no encore! How do we void comp these motherfuckers? Remember how we did that last time? You keeping busy, pal? Pal? Show's over, baby! And there ain't gonna be no encore! Can I kill this motherfucker? Okay, so what we got... You know? Zero that would interest you, detective. What do you know? Zero that would interest you, detective. You, you look right at home in there, Izo. You keeping busy, pal? Show's over, baby! <laughs> and there ain't gonna be no encore! I feel like, how do we give him the test? Hey, pal. I don't know. Remember, how did we do it last time? I'm gonna go back and watch the video from last time and be like, figure this out. Okay, so we took him in. Let's go. Wait, let's go to the lab. Maybe now we can go to the lab? Like, time has progressed? The way the time in this game works is bizarre. Guess not. Yeah, let's get going. Back to the nightclubs, I think. Because I want to see those triple X girls. I didn't fucking spend nine dollars on this Blade Runner game not to see triple X girls. What the fuck? Hysteria Hall is a fucking... That's a vibe. <sighs> so there's this whole club we didn't even go in. Love the music. Yes! I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit Fuck. orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. This is where I want to live my entire- look at her gyrate. Okay, look at the fucking butt cheeks. This is what I came to Night City for. Holy shit, let's talk to this guy. Hey, Hanoi, where's Early? Off world fat farm. <laughs> you can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a vid just yesterday. Get the hell of a tanny is. I want the Madonna boobs, Nikki. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Sod off. Oh, he's not gonna let me through. What if I kill him? Oh, they threw me out. That's funny. What if we go in the other area? Oh, the music changes. Go this way. God, the music is so good. This is reserved for VIPs. But that's my name, Vip. You're a real cute boy, out. Sod off, McCoy. I've got no time for you. Oh, 
Oh, they threw me out. Okay, so that didn't work. Okay, let's go back in here. It's so interesting, this phone. I don't get what this is. What do you guys think we should do next? Damn. We got a couple of suspects. Looks like he's drinking like... Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Love the music. Let's go to Hysteria Hall, maybe? See if there's anything to do there. What do you guys think we should do? Kind of unsure. I don't know what is going on with the used car place. Maybe that'll come into play later. What, how do we follow up on the cheese? What, what did, um... Kingston lady say. No, okay, no, let's go back. Oh, we can't, we have to go all the way around. Is that really a thing? <laughs> well, I got plenty of time to strategize while we wait for McCoy to get all the way over there. So how do we follow up on the cheese? What's the next step in the cheese plot? We got the guy in the red dress shirt. We didn't retire him. <laughs> okay, cool. We're all on the same page there. There's like a lot of little threads going on, but I'm not sure how it all comes together, you know? Yeah, I think I think we kind of have to because I don't really know what else to do at this point. I wish the clues kind of were a little bit easier to like they helped you out a little bit. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the next. Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Got them. Holden's badge. Holden's badge. Where did that come from? Clicked on all of these. Oh, I see. Hello, it's JF Sebastian. I hope you guys are all right. I couldn't tell who was winning, and I didn't much care. Chess was a little slow for me. Oh, in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. Funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. So how could I tell police ugly to bring man. back the box? They find cheese, they shut me down. This guy who robbed you, what'd he look like? Chart, real chart. Bad clothes, colors way too bright. Funny bow tie. The only person that reminds me of is the little doll creatures from JF Sebastian. So, 
I suspect that's not the case. That's not what we're supposed to do, but I have nothing else that I can think of doing, so we should go to Bradbury. There it is. And check and see if we can fuck with that little dude. See what happens. I love that there's little Sony ads in here. If anybody has... That's what I'm thinking. I think it's Sebastian, JF Sebastian's little dude. So you guys let me know if you have any other brain waves, but that's the best I've got is it might be JF Sebastian's little boy. Little doll creature thing. Oh, and there was also the one... There's a doll above the... in On um, the DNA row. Could be a thing. Hmm. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. It was some kind of freakish toy, half mechanical, half organic, rep technology for sure, but no one was going to give me any retirement bonus for it. It was some kind of freakish mm, toy. Nope, that didn't work. Bow tie, bow tie, bow tie, bow tie, bo sure, bow tie. But no one was going to give me any retirement bonus for it. Where have we seen a bow tie guy who would steal cheese? <laughs> Could it be... I remember the... Oh, I wonder if Crazy Legs is, is faking the wheelchair shit. Because he had really bright clothes. Remember that? Remember that shit? Nothing worse than a wheelchair faker. Make it harder for all of the real people who need wheelchairs. Motherfucker. Hysteria Hall, let's go. Oh wait, was it Hysteria Hall or... I don't know where we're supposed to fucking go. Yeah. Let's go talk to Crazy Legs. Crazy Legs Larry. Larry Crazy Legs. Whatever. Yeah, he might be wearing a bow tie. Bright clothes. Short fucker. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. I hope you got paperwork. Okay, that's not you can progressing the plot. You... Fuck. What do you guys think? I found this rapper. Yeah, that's from one of our dogs. Be good, you two. Be good, you two. Huh. That's it? That's all you have to say? I found a rapper and it's from one of your dogs. Nobody here was swanky. Little short motherfucker, is there? Nah. Hmm. Oh, the moon bus. You said something about the murder at the moon bus? Oh, but we can't actually go over there. Hmm. No. Could it be at a rival restaurant? Did you kill someone? Yeah, we, we wasted a homeless guy, which was pretty sad. Really not okay with that. Hmm. Okay. I don't think there's anything we can do at Nightclub Row. We could go back to Animoid. I don't know what there would be to do there. We still can't cross that... the sex dungeon, remember? Didn't seem to be anything to do with the police station. <sighs> Chinatown? What do you guys think? Hey, Neil, have a wonderful night, my brother. Um, hmm. 
guess we could try... <laughs> I think it was one of the unlimited bullets. I don't even think the bullet mattered. Just like him. So sad. Ugh. Not cool, bro. Okay. Oh, that guy's not there anymore. Remember how there was a guy over there? Yeah, I know. I feel a little bit, like, stumped. Hmm. Remember how there's a guy over here? He's not there anymore? Let's talk to Dragfly Lady. How's business? Good. Very good. Holiday's coming soon. Everyone wants insects. <laughs> yeah, I can't of imagine course. a better stocking stuffer. We'll talk to Bullet Dude real quick. I'm out of ideas. I just feel like we locked. need... Oh, we're locked. We go downstairs? We sh shut the energy off here. Why don't we save the game real quick? Eh, we're okay. I saved nothing. What the fuck was that? supposed to do I love the ambient sound design in this game it's so good go talk to the China bar it's been a lot of this game has been like go to restaurants where people suspects may have eaten and interrogate the bartender. Nice bracelet, tough guy. Who's Maggie, your mommy? She's a dog. So oh. is my wife, but I sure as hell don't brag about it. Holy Only shit. One. Just one? One, but one good one. <laughs> Pour me one. Just one? <laughs> one, but one good one. Jesus Christ. Okay. Thanks for your time. Okay. Yeah, I know. Seriously. This is over the line. Okay. I think we've exhausted. Yes. That, you know, I'll know that you're a fucking Blade Runner then, Nikki. Uh, yeah, I really don't know where we're supposed to be going now. Try back at Tyrell. I sort of just have to like, the the good thing and the bad thing about this game is a lot of times it's ended up us just sort of like randomly stumbling into things. On the other hand, I like that there's only so many places to go and you sort of can go, okay, we're gonna check Tyrell. If they, you know, there's nothing to do with Tyrell, then you move, you scratch that off the list. So, anyone else explode around here lately? I eat any I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. You gonna throw me out? If need be. Okay. So we can pretty much rule out Tyrell. <laughs> Animoid Row. Okay, Tyrell. I'm not sure about this area, 100%. DNA Row. Maybe we'll check that out. Like, I, I feel like we just gotta keep going to places until we find... Oh my god, look at like this little animation of people riding by on the bicycles. So good. Love this fucking game. Okay. So, why don't we poke our, ba our head back into the wreckage here? This is the place that blew up. Locked. No way through here. Okay. Surprisingly, no evidence to discover at all. Go upstairs. 
If anybody has any fucking ideas, I'll take anything at this point. You... Are you the creepy fuck in the bow tie? I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's animal sales, but I didn't expect to find hundreds of chinion inside. I didn't know what it was for, but I'd bet the farm it wasn't on Runsitter's books. I've gotten all I can from that. Huh. I can't believe I missed that the first time. gotten all I can from that. What do you guys think? Run sitters, I guess. Fabius, why not? Well, let's drop in on Shu real quick before we head out. Gotta VK some wow. people? Oh, we're locked out of Chu's place. Yeah, I think we need to void comp some motherfuckers too. Okay, that's the Bradbury. I really don't think we have anything to do there either. Okay, so we're, we're, we're crossing shit off the list. Can someone go back and watch the last stream and see how I void comp the last one? Okay, um, let's just drop in on run sitters real quick just in case just we got a little envelope we got money too now just in case there's anything here if not we'll get back in the car and we'll go try to void comp someone i think jackie's right i just don't know how to locked let me locked. in fuck Okay, I don't think there's anything to be gained from here. My apartment. Hmm. Gosh darn it. This game's hard. I'm also bad. The game's hard. Let's just check every floor. Just be super, put the gun away, dude. <laughs> super thorough. Where did this guy go? I feel like this is really weird that everybody went home. Is it the weekend that I didn't realize? Another retirement in the fourth sector today as a Blade Runner shot an alleged replicant in the middle of a crowded street. Lieutenant Edison Gusa, supervisor of the LPD's Rep DTEC unit, had this to say. It was a good, clean takedown. The public should thank us for retiring these skin jobs before they get into any real trouble. You want to get that thing out of my face? That was Decker. shooting film where the sun don't shine? Wow. Best scores. Oh, look, that's how you can see how well you did. That's awesome. So I got 31. Steel got 64? That's insane. What is this? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this thing. Scanning video disc. One uh. enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. I forgot about this entirely. Hawker's circle. Can we enhance this? What is there to see here? Is this an animal? I hope it's an animal. Hmm. Okay. That's the... Uh... What was the enhanced Moon one? Bus. Moon bus. This is a moon bus slaughter? Oh, let's see if we can look in here. 
Oh, this is our, uh, this is our boy. Yeah, here we go. Give me a hard copy of that. Good. Okay, we're, we're making some progress. Let's see about this guy over here. Who's this guy? Is that me? That can't be me. Give me a hard copy of that. What? Whoa! Oh, McCoy. What do we not know about you? Holy shit. That's a plot twist. What do we have over here? Nothing really. Wow, that's a big plot reveal. What's this down here? Yeah, I know. I'm wondering, is McCoy a, a replicant? What is this? I don't think it's anything. Okay. Wow. Okay, so I don't know if we're really progressing the plot, but it's fucking interesting. Oh, we can zoom in on... This beauty. Look at him. You guys see anything I said zoom in on? A lot in this game. Can we zoom in on your fucking face? Love him just holding the machine gun like that. Oh, here we go. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like Ooh. junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay. So, we know he's connected to Dragonfly Lady. Huh. Do we have any other good photos? Oh, what's this China one? Bar. China Bar. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> hmm. No. Oh. Here we go. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Huh. What else could we possibly zoom in on in this photo? I think that's it. Okay. Well, I don't really know what we learned, but that's some shit, that's for sure. Okay, what about Uploading over here? Personal clue database. Oh, this might be helpful. The mainframe confirmed what I'd already guessed. The car from Chinatown was the same vehicle that had smacked the hydrant at Runciter's. The car was registered to a woman named Dectora. She'd bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector. I ran the name through records and came up empty. The used car lot checked out clean too, but maybe the owner could tell me something. Okay. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Okay, so that's definitely a clue with crazy legs. Wonder if he'll st still talk about how good of a shot Lucky is. strikes. Crystal's brand, even though she... Funny, he's like obsessed with her. We could go shoot more guns, but I don't think that makes sense right now. Okay, if nothing else, we got crazy legs, but let's just see real quick if there's anything else to do. Run, McCoy, run! Go! Go, buddy, go. Nothing. Huh, man, this game is 
deep. I totally forgot that we could go like enhance images. Real quick, let's just see if we can void comp a motherfucker. You keeping busy, pal? <laughs> Show's over, baby! And there ain't gonna be no encore! I love him. I want to kill him. All right. I think the answer... Put the gun away, bro. Is... Go to Crazy Legs. And we will do that next time. Crazy Legs. Okay. So... Let us call it a night. Uh, how do I get out of this game? Ah, here. This is how I do it. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this evening. This was a lot of fun. Um, How's it going, pal? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, so yeah, amazing. I love this game. It's a little frustrating, slightly frustrating, but it's also fucking amazing. And I'm really looking forward to banging it out like a nasty hooker on, on next Wednesday. So before we leave, I will hopefully see you all on Friday for the Killing Horizon reunion show. I'm mucho excited for that. It's going to be badass. And if you guys could help me promote that, that would be Greatly appreciated. Really exciting to be getting the band back together. Me and Jackie playing live music for the first time in 11 music in 11 years or something crazy like that. So I love you guys. I'll see you Friday. And if not Friday, I'll see you for some more Blade Running on Wednesday. Okay? Have a wonderful night. <laughs>